Hi, this is Alex Paul with Open Systems Media and Embedded Computing Design, and I'm here at the Apex Show with my good friend Guy Moxley. How's it going, Guy? Good afternoon. Hi, Alex. Fine, thank you. Well, you know, Wolf Speed, we're at the Wolf Speed booth, and uh, well, you've been in wide band gap for a long time with not just this company, but other companies. You've been around for a while. That's true, and it's great to see the evolution of the whole technology from science project through to, yeah, that's cool and interesting, to through to right now is how do I use this stuff? Well, you know, the, the, the parallel I like to draw is with digital power. You know, at, at, at first it was, ah, then maybe could be useful, and then now it's really becoming a necessity. Yeah, absolutely, and there's several factors around that. You've got to have the product portfolio, you've got to have the reliability, and you've got to have the education of the customer base. Well, and that's the thing, it is, it is more of an evangelical sell with the wide band gap, but in reality, the promise is over. I mean, it's, re it's time, to, the rubber's meeting the road, you know? That is the key thing, Alex, and as you can see, we are not promoting products. People can find out what products we have. You go on our website, Generation 3 MOSFETs. We promote systems to enable users to adopt silicon carbide. So it's not a product promotion necessarily. It's the system environment, for example, a 6.6 kilowatt onboard charger. This is showing the design community how to use it and how to use it quickly. So it's really enabling the adoption of silicon carbide. Very nice. Well, that's one of the big things, isn't it? Because people want to know, if it's, is it really going to help me? Is it really going to do something for me? Is it going to produce? Is it going to be cost effective? What do you answer the cost effective aspect? From a system level, it's the same question over and over again. We are not plucking out a piece of silicon and dropping in a piece of silicon carbide. We change the system design. And by increasing the switching frequency three or four times that of silicon, of silicon we can reduce the passives and the, and the system level cost, reduce the cooling. So the system level is actually a far more cost effective than what, what we would be in silicon. Excellent. Now, um, do you have any news? I mean, there's a lot of things going on. Have you had any new partnerships, had any new uh, product announcements? What can you tell our audience? Cree is, as you know, in the middle of transforming into be a powerhouse semiconductor company. And we're, it's the right time. You mentioned earlier on, Alex, is this now? This was, to, that was that was so last year. I was in Germany not so long ago. I logged on using my you know, internet in the email in the morning like everybody does, powered by the, the server, cloud computing, powered by silicon carbide, wolf speed silicon carbide. I got on a train, the power conversion for the, the platforms, the auxiliary, the auxiliary power, silicon carbide. I got in a taxi when I got off the train. Taxi was an EV powered by silicon carbide. And then while I was whizzing between the two cities, looking at all the German solar farms on top of their rooftops, powered by silicon carbide. So it's not when, it's absolutely now. It's all around you. Excellent. Now, hey, Guy, do you have any last words for our audience before I let you go? Yeah. We just want to show people how to use it. We, we want to adopt, drive this adoption really quickly. No one has got a lot of design time. No one has got a year and a half of, of evaluating any longer. People can design systems better than we can, but we offer system solutions so people can adopt, people can copy, and people can evaluate. So please come and see us, and we can help drive silicon carbide into your system. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Guy. I appreciate it. Thanks, Alex. Good to see you.